Hi, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to Strings Attached, our mother-daughter knitting and all things string podcast. I'm Mallory. I'm Frida. And uh, today is March 23rd. Something like that. <laughs> and we're podcasting at night tonight because I had to wait till after the babies went to bed to get this done. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see our lovely ring light reflection yes, in the window. In the that lovely. Oh, you can see my light, too. Mm -hmm. Look at that. <laughs> yep. But hey, make it work. But maybe you won't see the dirt. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for the ring light, it wouldn't be able to see us at all because this room is super dark. Yeah. Has a roll. Well, that light's rolled in. So. Yeah. Making it work. Yeah. <laughs> we were laughing before we started, so we're kind of slap happy. <laughs> all right. So we have a bunch of new acquisitions. We have mom has like a thousand whips. I have a new whip um, and a new FO and no, I have two new whips. We have our Ooh, snacks of the lot. evening. Chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. <laughs> and hot tea. Yep. I've been real into eating chocolate chips lately. Her so. girls love them too. Yeah. Especially Alice. If you say. She knows what's good. If you want them to come, <laughs> you know, into another room. You want some chocolate chips? <laughs> That's awful. Here they come. But we always give them Maggie one. Maggie came running around, the, running around the corner real fast <laughs> that one time. She about fell over. We always give them one. I know. We're bad. We're training them to be bad like us. It's our medicine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, I'll start with my FOs. You don't have any? I have one. Well, that's a, yeah. It's, it's a half, half FO, but yeah. it's all I got. Okay. I'll start with mine. So I got my um, metamorphic sweater done. By Lisa K. Ross. Ooh, it's so pretty. It turned out really nice. Really. It's very drapey. The yarn is um, Debbie Bliss Rialto DK. Um, I think this was Camel. And this was Earth. Hmm. This might have been like stone or sand or something. But, oh, it's just, you can't probably tell, but it's just so drapey after it blocked. It's it's great. It is. Oh, my goodness, yeah. It's yeah, it just, oh, it's just great. It's a super wash wool, but it, it's a different one that I've never, ever used. And, oh, man, it's just, it turned out so Ooh, nice. Ooh, that's really nice wool. Yeah, I, I hope it wears well. What is it? What's Debbie Bliss little? Rialto Debbie DK. Debbie Bliss Rialto DK, wow. Yeah. So, anyway, um, here's the button. I just got these buttons. I haven't sewed them on. So, I guess, yeah, they'll be on this side. Can you see them? <laughs> Just, my fingernails are absolutely atrocious, but yeah, it's pretty little wooden buttons. wooden buttons, and they have like a little dark brown kind of rim going around them. And so, yeah, it has three buttons just boom, boom, boom on the little Henley. Very pretty, and yeah, it's supposed to fit a six year old. And I think after I blocked it, it it's just a little bit shy of measurements. I was really nervous that it was he's gonna a, be he's, he's little, yeah, yeah, he's a little bit shy of a size six. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, he's a little six year old, so I think it'll be fine. Um, it might not fit him for as many years as what they usually do, but yeah. he's the youngest of three boys, so he'll get hand me down. It's not like he's never going to have any more sweaters. Yeah. Anyway, one last look. Very pretty. Turned out very nice. I love it. And I will definitely make that pattern again. That was a, a nice pattern. I don't think it was the pattern's fault that I didn't get gauge. I think it was just, even though I did a swatch, I just... I have a couple of grandsons. <laughs> I have to make that. <laughs> I think I, it's a, it was a nice pattern. And yeah. the color work was fun because it was only ever two colors. Yeah, that's what I need. Yeah, and it wasn't like a picture. It was mm. just like a nice, yeah. But um, what was I saying? Lost it. Oh, my gauge. I think I just knit tight when I'm in the round. Yeah. And did. I know you're supposed to swatch in the round. I didn't do that, blah, blah, blah. But I did swatch, so that's better than That's better than normal. normal. Yeah. <laughs> so that is my first FO. And then I've had this one done for a while. I just keep forgetting to bring it over here. This was my little scarf that um, I started on the mini me. mini me make along, the New Year's Eve cast on day. I started this. And we haven't talked about our mini me make along in a while. We've been kind of dropping the ball on that make along. I have one. Still going on. It goes on until the end of March. Anything mm. for a kid. Anything that you want to make for a kid, knit, crochet, any project, sewing, whatever. And as long as it's for a kid, enter it, and we'll be doing a giveaway, you know, some probably some local yarn store yarn and, you know, progress keepers or whatever. Um, and the hashtag I'll put it at the bottom of the screen here is a uh, mini me make along 2022. And then you got to put F-O on the end for the finished object. But yeah. I will put it down here just to make that clear because, yeah, I think that's I think that's right. But mm -hmm. anyway, there might be mini me make along now. So just do it. Do what I put at the bottom. <laughs> Whatever she decides. Zip. I'm not talking about it anymore. So, yeah. Anyway, 
we've been kind of dropping the ball and talking about that and encouraging it, but it's still going on. It's running till at least the end of March, but I am going on a spring break, a little vacation, so you might get a little extension because I don't know if I'm going to be getting on there and doing that during my vacation. Good. I'm not done with my one sweater. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this yarn was um, purchased at Hobby Lobby. It's Yarn B um, Adora Ball, and I think it was called Sprinkles. My little girl picked it out when we were in the yarn aisle, so it's just a seed stitch. It is funny how they do mm -hmm. she latch she on to certain things. Yeah, and it's very soft. Mm -hmm. But okay, so I'm not in a hurry to make this second one. I was going to make them both one. Not in a hurry because I put this one on Alice and immediately they were strangling each other with it. I wondered about that. It's yeah. a little bit tight. You don't have to put it on. No, any... it's not tight. They had it like this and like Maggie was running away and Alice was like <sighs> pulling her. Oh. So I was like, mm, maybe next year. <laughs> Maybe next year they can wear a scarf. It's big enough to last. Oh, yeah, I mean, I can wear it. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm not, I have another skein of that, but I'll, I'm not in a hurry to get it done because I have a lot of other things that are taking priority to me right now. Shoot, they could wear that when they're seven or eight. I know, it's big. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want a strangled one. So, and then my other FO, oh, let me get up. My other FO are my Obata socks. So, let me show you. Oh. Ooh, can you see them? Yeah. <laughs> you can see them. Oh, yeah. I know. So I will put a, an actual picture. I'll insert a picture. But they're Obata socks by um, Kay Jones from the Bakery Bears podcast. Uh, it's absolutely great sock. Is that the one she put in some book? Oh, uh, yeah. They were in the fall 2021 Vogue Knitting magazine. So I don't know if you can purchase them. I don't think you can purchase it just by itself on Ravelry, but I could be wrong about that. I'm not sure. By the Vogue book. I'm going to find that. Actually, um... Now that I say that out loud, I think, I think it's only in the magazine because I think I looked on Ravelry to see if it was on there, but that's been a few weeks ago. So anyway, whatever. It's a great pattern. And even if you have to buy the magazine, I just ordered mine on Amazon. Mm -hmm. There's, there's other patterns in it. So it's not like you're just buying the one pattern. I mean, they have other oh. patterns. So, so you got the whole book. I got the whole magazine. Yeah. I showed it one time when I first okay. got it, forgot about it. but the sock is great. Like, Stays up. It's comfortable. I was worried that the umbrella toe feeling would bother me against my toe, but I don't even notice it. Because once I wore them, it kind of stretched that and got looser a little bit. And the, the texture of the pattern, it keeps the sock up. Hmm. I wore them with my um, Hey Dudes the other day into town, and they never fell down one time. Wow. I wore them all day long. So well, Maybe I'll make a pair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Finish your other ones first. <laughs> Okay, that's all my FOs. Okay, one <laughs> FO, I showed most of it last time, was my uh, baby quilt. And I did get it done, and it has already been given as mm -hmm. a gift. So I really only have a half FO. Da da! You finished it! I should have put it on the little thing. Yeah, I brought it for you. Oh, well, let me do that. Mm -hmm. Let me see what it looks Real like. Real quick while you're doing I that, don't I forgot to one. mention um, the yarn that I used for my Obata socks is um, Wonderland Yarns. And again, I can't remember if it's Mary Ann, the colorway, or May Mary Ann, the yarn base. But Stephanie is the colorway, I think. But mm -hmm. it's great yarn. Wonderland yarns. And it's not dyed in Indiana. It's dyed in Vermont. I was wrong about that last time. And I think you can get it pretty much anywhere. Betsy. Mm -hmm. But Wonderland yarn, I mean, it's, it's, I've seen it at yarn stores and stuff. And it's everywhere. And it's, I love it. I love mm -hmm. the texture of this yarn. So you, you've seen it at other yarn stores? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. I'm cool. sure people have heard of it. That is so pretty. One done. You did it. it you were you were proud of yourself. Yeah, I am. It was fun once you got yeah, it. Yeah, once I it. got it going, I think I like it. You think you'll be addicted? I might knit more. Did you like the like small circumference? I'm getting small I'm needle? getting to where it is kind of nice at times. So I yeah, did. not all the time. I took it to the salon today. You did? <laughs> yeah. It's just nice to have that little tiny project. You can mm. just, you don't have to have this big thing flopping around. And yeah. A little bag you can carry around or you can put it in your purse even. I haven't blocked it yet or anything. But I have not found that they really need to be blocked. They don't. Just wear them and then the first time you wash them, you can yeah. lay them flat to dry. Yeah. I blocked um, those ones that I made that I ripped out. What was that? Oh, the Christmas ones. My oh. Christmas socks. I blocked those because they were too small. Mm -hmm. So I blocked them trying to stretch them, but it didn't help. Oh, but no. other than that, I haven't, I've never blocked any of my socks. Yeah. So that's, 
That's all lollipop that yarns and the Christmas cheer, yeah. we think. Christmas cheer, we think. Mm -hmm. And lollipop yarn comes in um, a neat ball, with it, like it's all pretty and rolled up. Yeah, it's it. already rolled up, just, you know, already. Wow. Well, it actually was a ball. This looks like a cake. It was. That's interesting. So you think it was a cake and then they, they just do that around the outside to make it pretty? I don't know, but it looks like a cake now. Yeah, it does. Interesting. I bet they have some kind of a machine that spins it that way. Could be. I don't know. It's... But then it came with enough of the second color to do the cuff, heel, oh. and toe on both socks. Yeah, I'm, I don't have a whole lot of that, but I think it's intended enough. to. Because that sock would look know, weird if you didn't have is. all three. This is all I have left. Yeah, but you've already started the other sock. Yeah, I'll have the toe and the heel to do you that. Have, I think you have enough. And I don't know where my other sock is. I thought it was in here. Oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. So that's, since I've got this sock out, I'm just going to say this is how far I am on it as far as the Might whip. as well. Yeah, I'm that Anybody far. that's watched us, it would be proud of you. Yeah. I'm on that one. And you're on the next one. And I cast this one on myself and got it all going. Long tail cast on. Yep. Go by yourself. Yeah. Did you have to watch a YouTube or anything, or did you remember? Yeah, I remembered. Oh, nice. I, use I can it. remember that one. I use it now for everything. Yeah, I think that's what I did. That's how I cast on my other two items here. Mm. I think it makes a prettier cast on than what we were always doing before. Mm. I forget now what ours was called. I always just called it plain. <laughs> plain old cast on. No, it does. Have, like, it does have a name. You've, you've looked it up or something. I want to call it backward, backwards loop cast on, but then I heard it called something else the other day on... It might have been Bakery Bears. Somebody was talking about it, and they showed it, and... It's just where you... Pick you don't use your index finger. You just I just use my thumb always. Yeah, you just pick it it's up. It's like long tail, except for using your, instead of going like this and using your index finger and your thumb, you just use your thumb. Yeah. You just made a simple loop. And it, it, it does it look, enough. it does, yeah, it looks looser on the end. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to knit that first row. Yeah, it is kind of hard to knit. I like long tail because the first row is like kind of already knitted for you. Mm -hmm. So it's just a normal, like when you're knitting the first row, it just feels like mm -hmm. a normal row. So, okay, that's all your FOs. Yeah. Everything, cool. everything is in progress. All right. Whoops. Okay. I have two brand new ones, but I haven't shown it all. Go ahead. Okay. So the first one, um, I bought this yarn last summer. So I'm going to put this into the Carla's stash along, but this is Malabrigo, uh, Arroyo Regatta Blue, I think. And I bought it last summer at the Shabby Sheep and You Yarn Shop in Columbus. And I'm making the... Summer, and I've been pronouncing this wrong this whole time. I've, this is my second one that I've made. It's the Summer Sorrel. Not, not Sorrel. Not Sorrel. I'll probably never get it summer right. Summer Sorrel. It's a Sorrel sweater, Summer Sorrel by Wool and Pine Designs. So I've already got the body done. So it's a crop. Oh, wow. You yep. got the body done. Yep. The body's done because it's a short little crop. It definitely is. Yep. And I have a, um, a very light, like a sky blue dress that has these little tiny navy little embroidery little tiny little stitches all over it mm. and it's a tank top dress and i don't like to wear tank tops really that well so this will be to go over that yeah so really you just have the sleeves that's it yeah and the sleeves are short so oh, i'm almost done yeah because the neck the neck you do right off the bat you you cast on with the neck so it's got the um the dip stitches in it and i love doing dip stitches they're super fun and it's got um you can see it's a I guess you would call that tonal uh, navy, but you can see it's got like black and every now and again, it's got like a little bit of an aqua look to it. And sometimes it's got like royal blue and cerulean and, but all together, I feel like it's navy and it looks, I've held it up to my little dress and it looks good with it. Mm -hmm. it's and really I, pretty. so Malabrigo, you're supposed to, it says on there even, I think to alternate skeins, or at least I've heard that on podcasts or something. Cause I, I knew to do that because it's hand dyed. Even though it's like a commercial. All Malabrigo is? Yes. So I alternated skeins and that was a pain because I was alternating skeins while I was doing the dip stitches and all that stuff. And I'm not really sure it was necessary because I kind of got over doing it and I stopped doing it um, when I got to the. Um, and you can't tell. Whatever this is. <laughs> the band? Ribbing. Gosh. Ribbing. <laughs> it's, it's late. So. <laughs> It looks the same to me. Like, it's not block, so it's real fluffy. But, like, can you see? I alternated skeins, like, every two or three rows all through this thing. And look how it still made, like, stripes. And mm. then down in the band, it's. It, I feel like it's striped the same. Like, it looks the same to me. Mm. So, I'm not sure it was even necessary. 
But I probably would if I hadn't done it, it probably would have pulled or something, and then oh. I would have been mad. So I'm, I mean, I guess I, you know, wasn't that big of a deal, but it didn't pull down here. I know. So I don't know. Hmm. Whatever. But yeah. Anyway, all I have to do now is do the little sleeves and sew in the ends. Wow. So I'll have it done by next time. Hopefully, I'll be wearing it with my little dress. Oh, nice. On the next podcast. Mm -hmm. Um, it, was, gonna... it will be spring. It already is yeah, spring, actually. I feel like I was going to say something. I don't know. It's got twisted rib uh, ribbing, which I think is so pretty. I love twisted rib. I haven't ever done that. All you do is pearl, or um, knit through the back loop. Yeah. Instead of just normal knitting, it's knit through it's the back loop. Cool. So it looks like normal rib on the back side, and then it's twisted rib on the front side. Did it call to do that? Twisted rib. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Nice. So, yeah. It's going to be so fun and mm -hmm. cute and... So I like stopped knitting all my other stuff and just focused on this mm -hmm. because last year I made that spring Jupiter crop, which yeah. granted it was ended up being just a little too big, but also by the time I got it done, spring was over. <laughs> I turned it into a fall crop. You did. And it looks great on you. Because I love the, the way mustard that you wear yellow. it. I love the way that you wear it. And I am going to make it again. And I cut out a mustard skirt days. and I never got it made, but I will. Maybe by fall. Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah. So I'm going to make it again and just reverse the colors a little bit. And I'll probably, like you suggested, I'll probably get me more of a, a daffodil yellow color yeah, instead spring. of a mustard yellow. Mm -hmm. So, but whatever. Anyway, so I wanted to get this done while I can still like, yeah. wear it. I want to wear it's it for pretty. spring. So Because it'll be hot in the summer. Yeah. So, yeah. I dropped everything and pretty much focused on that. It's beautiful. Yeah, the last two or three I days. bet you have yarn left over. I'll have a, I think I'll have a whole skein of this left over. Wow. Because I bought three skeins and I, I think I'm only going to need two mm -hmm. total. So. so you bought it knowing you were going to make a crop. I bought it to make this. Okay. Yeah, I bought it to make that. Mm -hmm. And it's being housed in my Carla bag. CD Crafty Girl on Etsy. I love this bag. It's a nice thick bag. Mm -hmm. So that's my, oh, I'll do this one now. I haven't shown this yet, I don't think. So, I don't think so. Sorry if I already did, but I don't think I had the yarn last time. So I am making the Mondrian Pullover by Two of Wands. This is a free pattern on, um, I think it's free. I think it's a free pattern, yeah, on lionbrand.com. Mm. It's a easy sweater. It's a level one beginner sweater, and it's super quick and fast. Um, I will tell you, it's chunky yarn, and it's killing me. <laughs> Making a <the> neck hurt. <laughs> I cannot hardly knit on it. I think it's because you knit so tight. Oh, it's killing me. So it's... I don't know, but I've heard other knitters say that, and I've never really experienced that before, but I don't think I've ever made a chunky garment. I've only made hats with chunky yarn. Yeah. So I'm learning that um, it's killing me. So it's knit in pieces. This is the back. And I'll talk about the yarn here in a minute. So I've got the back done. And after I got the back done, I was injured. I was injured for like two weeks. I bought, I ordered myself a neck massager um, <laughs> on Amazon and I've been like trying to get the knots out of my neck ever since. Uh -huh. And then, it's was not it? not funny, I'm sorry. Oh, it killed me. <laughs> so then two nights ago, was it? I told you, I was like, oh, I started the, started yeah, this started the beast end. again. So I've got the front going, which is just the same as the back. It's just the same exact thing. And then the sleeves are, yeah, are they? they're that green color. And so they're kind of like a, they're down on the, like they come down to like here, it looks like. So it's a real oversized, yeah, it's going to be that color. It's a real oversized fitted sweater. And I'm making this for a young girl who is like 13. So I'm making her the extra small and it will be big on her, mm -hmm. but it'll fit her for a long time, I think. She, um, her mom, I, te I texted a picture of it to her mom and she said she'd like it. So cool. I'm going for it. Okay. So this yarn is what the pattern calls for. Um, and it's. Hugh plus me, and it's two of wands, like, uh, line, in the line brand stuff. Line brand yarn stuff. How did I say Line that? brand yarn is Not line popular, brand stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a very popular company in this area. In this area? Or all over. I don't know. I mean, I think, it's, mm -hmm. I think it's bigger than it used to be or mm -hmm. something. I don't know. You hear more about it. But, well, they make... Commercial yarns, but they make nicer commercial yeah. yarns than just like mm -hmm. Red Heart Super Saver. Right. So, mm -hmm. like, you can get on the website. You might not be able to buy this at Joanne's. I don't know. Maybe you can or Michael's. Mm -hmm. But you can get on the website and get mm -hmm. nicer stuff on there. Yeah. They don't carry it all at the big stores, but yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. They do make nicer yarn. It's like our um, <clears throat> Autumn League. Mm -hmm. That's nice stuff. It's hot in jeans. 
Yeah, like but yeah, so this this yarn is designed, I guess, by Two of Wands, and this pattern is designed by Two of Wands. Hmm. So I just kind of got it. I didn't. It's not. It wasn't a kit, but I just got. I just went on the website and got exactly what. I, I got the pattern from the website and I got the yarn exactly what they said to get from the website. So it wasn't a kit, but kind of. Nice. Yeah. So okay, the green is. Hmm, what's okay. it called? Artichoke. So it's all like spices and food oh, themed. <laughs> yeah. So the green is artichoke. So this will be the sleeves. The. This is this is mustard. You know, obviously, how original, right? <laughs> The white it is, is a cream stuff. color. It's called salt. Hmm. And the burnt, like, rest color is called saffron. So. Nice. Yeah, they all are together. I think it's really. It's very pretty. This, like, look. It's fall. Is very popular right now. Like, those you colors. the big over. Well, that too. But, like, those colors together. I just um, feel like that's very in right now. Like, if you go to a junior's department in a Kohl's or something. I feel yeah, like you yeah. see those like they're almost like they look like from the seventies or something. Yeah, a little bit. A lot of like striped I really ribbed crop I tops really like the block. Those lists. colors. And yeah, the big block sweaters. And I've been noticing too, like um I watch a lot of TV because I'm home, right? <clears throat> a lot of the ladies have the block dresses too. You have a collar going here and a collar over here. That is a big look right mm -hmm. now. Well yeah, I mean, this girl's 13, and she liked that, so mm -hmm. her mom said she would, so. Yeah, I think it's wonderful. Yeah, anyway, Very so cute. that's, I think, yeah, that's all my whips. I don't have any um, socks going right now to show, so. Wow. Yeah. You got them done. Yep. Okay, well, you've seen my sock whip. It's going down. This is kind of an acquisition and a whip, so I'll show it as a whip. Okay. I got this yarn. My chocolate chips. But first I got the pattern. Yeah, you should check what I'm doing this. <laughs> this is from Valley Yarns. It's designed by Joanne, Joan Forgione? <laughs> Forgione. Forgione? I don't know. I'll put up the screen. Anyway, it's Moorings. I remember it's from uh, yeah, Valley Yarns. Web. That's the same thing as Web's in it. Mm. I got a book today. Anyway, so I think that's kind of like their line of yarn. I could mm -hmm. be wrong about that, but I think it is. Anyway, that's the sweater I'm going to make. And it's got, you can't see it on the front picture, but it's got um, cables up the sleeves and then all up the back. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know that if they're going to be able to see it either. But anyway, you just have to tell you it, I guess. So anyway, I purchased um, the yarn it called for in pink. And it is, can't read that one, this one here. It is Valley Yarns Le Leverett. Leverett, yeah. By okay. Webb's American Yarn Store. It's 70% cotton and 30% linen. It's really pretty. <clears throat> yeah, it is. Okay, so it's soft. I've got the first sleeve. <coughs> it's um, knit in pieces. It's knit in pieces, yeah. But I've got the first uh, mm. sleeve started. I think they're a little short, and I have made a mistake, but I'm not going to say where it is. <laughs> I didn't notice it until later. Do I see it? Is it this? Um, maybe she said more. she wasn't going to point it out. Here I am. That right there. See that? That looks funny right there. See how that's smooth and this isn't? Yeah. But anyway, I don't think it's going to show. So I'm living and learning on this one. Because you really got to follow the pattern. So I don't show that. Don't show that. You can't. No, I don't think you should show the pattern. Okay, well, I'll just show. You can show the back side and tell her what you're doing. Like show that it's laminated. laminated. Okay, I laminated the chart. And the chart is so tiny that Mallory suggested, which she did on hers, is I took a piece of, um, this is electrical tape, <laughs> yeah. orange actually, and I move it up. Mm -hmm. Every time I do a row, I move it up to the next one so I know exactly where I am. I used um, and it's a lot easier to count. removable Cricut vinyl when I did it on my right Oh sweater. yeah, I forgot what you used. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, I mean, same difference. Mm -hmm. I no, did, you don't have to mark them. You can just rip it off. I did that it. and there's a whole bunch of the key chart little designs. Mm -hmm. And so I also laminated that chart because I have to look back. Oh, that tells which you. Ones, yeah, which one and what you do on that one. Okay, so... You have the picture of what they are, and then you have the word the for word, how to yep. do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I have that started. I cast on that. Cool. That's new. Cast on that. Um, so 
you were gonna, you didn't know what collar to get. Can oh, yeah. Tell me, can we tell who that's for? Does this person know? It's a gift. She picked out pink, so she probably does know. <laughs> okay. She said pink was nice. So she was telling me who, what, you know, what she was doing and who it was for. And I was like, we were looking at the colors in the magazine. And I was like, I think you should get light pink. I think I just, when I see that sweater and I think of that person, that's what I think of. Mom's like, oh, I don't know. Well, I was thinking more of a color, like a coat. I think that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Like navy or. And then you wouldn't be able to see the design and beat you to art. I know. She's always right. So anyway. I said pink, and she kept wishy-washing around, and I was like, I think pink the whole time, the whole time. Well, I actually talked. And then you actually talked talk to the person, and that person was like, I think pink. <laughs> well, I knew it. we went through all the colors, and we decided pink goes with navy, black, white, gray, and brown. Yeah. Pink goes with all of it, and the other colors didn't, so it's more versatile that way. She can wear it, since it's cotton, she can wear it when she goes to Florida. Mm-hmm. Or she can wear it in the spring mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. anyway, so that's an that's acquisition. Exciting. And a whip. And a whip. And then I'm going to show an old whip here. I've, I've got to finish this one for the mini me. So if we extend it a few days, maybe I'll get it done. <laughs> I, uh, I'm still working on the little bear hoodie. And I'm on the hood. So I really don't, if I just really want, if I hadn't cast on other things, I probably could have had this done, but you know. I think we all understand that. We do. So anyway, that's a whip, but I have been working on it. It could be done. This just isn't. <laughs> and, and I don't think I've shown my... It would be done if that yarn was so awful. Yeah, I hate to yarn. Every time you... Every, like, three yards of yarn, mm. you pull it out and it's knots. It's that stupid... What is that? Burnett saucy, saucy baby, baby that I hated. It's that. Squeaky yarn, we call it. She hates it, too. Get these chocolate chips away. What? Don't wait, like, 50 of them. Okay. So, I, I have been working on the Jenny jacket. I think don't think I showed this last time. No, you haven't showed that in a while. So, I've got, you know, two little uh, smocking patterns done. So, I want to continue every little bit. So, I'm not going to wear this till next fall. I know. That's why I slowed down on mine because yeah. it's heavy. So, I may, you know, try to work on it. Just get maybe a smocking pattern done every whatever. Mm -hmm. And But I want to keep it going so I won't get off of it. And <clears throat> I, I already had these buttons. I thought maybe these buttons might be cool. Yep. Uh, I don't know why I had them, but I'm always buying stuff when they're on sale. I bought, so I got on Etsy and bought these like Celtic key buttons for mine. And, and I already I had showed them to mom. And mom's like, I think I have some buttons that look about like that. So I have all kinds of stuff. Okay. Then I so also. So, real quick about your Jenny jacket though. What about it? When you did it wrong and you wouldn't believe me. Oh, well, you can tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> so, she gets, was it the first smocking? Mm hmm. Okay. No, it wasn't. It was the second one. I had I had two done, did I? Oh, I remember how you did it. Okay, so the smocking, you, you knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. And then when you get to the smocking row, you have to cinch two of the mm -hmm. knit two ribs together. Mm -hmm. And you had accidentally read the chart like two stitches off or something. So instead of cinching them together, you, ha you had it shifted over and you were cinching the wrong part of the stitch together. And the problem with that... Like you had like one of the purl stitches and one of the knit stitches pulled together instead of the two knit... And maybe I don't have that with me. But, but anyway, she was like, no, no, I did it right. And I, I took it and I said, this is what it says to do. It says da da. But see, the thing is, <laughs> I made a swatch. So I should have looked at my swatch. There it is. Mm -hmm. You know what that reminds me of? No. Chromosomes. I don't know exactly how what that is. <laughs> I think about it every time. <laughs> Sorry. It looks like smoking. But, um. Smoking. Yeah, she was like mad at me. I wasn't mad, but it was like, yes, no. you were. That's what it says to do. <laughs> You're like, no. It says you do this. I you know am that. right. I know I'm right. I carefully read the pattern and I know. And I'm like, yeah, but I mean, it doesn't look she right. Has, so I have raised a child that's always right. <laughs> but I was like, I mean, okay. But, I guess I did a good job. I mean, okay, but it's not right. It's no, right. and then when we looked, when I looked at the pattern, <laughs> <laughs> and I made the swatch. And then I think you were having a bad day because then you cried. <laughs> I probably was. <laughs> and I was Sometimes like, oh no, I didn't mean to make you cry. <laughs> You're like, I just, I can't do it. I just... <laughs> so anyway, I tinked it back. I was like, give me it. Yeah, you did. Didn't so you? I tinked it back for her. And then we started. You can tink back the fastest I ever seen. And then we started it again. <laughs> and we got it right. But it was kind of funny. She was like, <laughs> 
thought I was doing it right. <laughs> okay, good. All right, moving on. This We've one. all done that. I guarantee everybody that's watching, if they knit, if everybody mm. has pride yeah. over a knitting project. Guaranteed. Mm. <laughs> all time. And it's like, sometimes you just need to wad it up, put it in the bag, put it up for a while. One time I was knitting and I, it was like down to the wire for Christmas. I had made like 10 sweaters or something stupid for gifts. Mm -hmm. And I was like down to the wire. It was like two days before Christmas and I was going, <laughs> going. And I finally like got up and got a bowl of cereal. That's probably what I was eating for dinner because mm -hmm. I probably Cause didn't cook. Mm -hmm. And I had my knitting, like in my knitting bag sitting there. And I always use open, like tote type knitting bags. Oh, I remember the story. I like tripped or something <laughs> as I was coming back to the couch and I spilt that entire bowl of, of cereal, milk and all into my knitting bag. <laughs> it was all over the sweater. It soaked all of the skeins of yarn. It's so funny. I mean, it was a total meltdown. I had a meltdown. <laughs> My husband was like, it'll be okay. I'm like, it's not okay. It's soaked it's in milk. Ruined. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we washed it out. But <laughs> once it dried, I... How did you wash those skeins? You just... I just dunked them in water. Just and washed them just like you would, and... Yeah, just like you would a sweater. Just dunked them in water with soap and good kneaded know. them. And, and then I, um, I hooked them up on hooks and like... They didn't come undone or anything? I did it carefully, but... I like hooked them up on hooks it, over, around by the fireplace, not mm -hmm. not too close, but over by the fireplace, and they mm -hmm. dripped down onto the like concrete floor by the fire, mm -hmm. and then dried out. It took them a couple of days, but once they dried <laughs> out, I just kept on knitting. That was a nightmare. But <laughs> I was probably up till two in the morning on Christmas Eve finishing it or something. Oh, it was well, probably crazy. She's done that so several many, times. We've all done. We've all cried. <sighs> okay, <laughs> this whip <laughs> is in my Carla bag. Yay! 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 Okay. okay. And I showed this uh, yarn and fabric some time back. Oh, yeah. And I'm making the, oh, it doesn't say on that oh, side. Cascades or something like that, right? Cascades tea. Cascades tea. tea. Yeah. And it's, um, oops, didn't have a pattern. <laughs> Although this pattern, I don't know if I had to pick for this pattern or not. Anyway. Nitpicks pattern? Yeah. Ooh, show that back picture. And this is the back. Oh, it's so pretty. Not pretty. And it's just a little short sleeve, something rather. Yeah. And so I cast that on, and I've got it starts at the, it starts in the front. Starting to get torn. It, it starts in the front, and it comes up, and then you, you do something to make the neck opening, and it goes down, and you just hook on the little cap sleeve things. But anyway, here you do it is. like almost like an afterthought heel kind of thing, right? Like kind of. Okay. I haven't really got into it. I'm sure we'll figure it out. So anyway, that's just little eyelets here. That's all that was. Just little loop overs. Cool. Mm -hmm. And this I is Kotlin? Yeah. Nitpicks Kotlin? Cyan. Cyan. Yeah, Kotlin. What color did you say it was? Cyan. Cyan. But anyway, here it is. That's fun. Mm, yeah. That's fun. So it's it's nice stuff. I like it. I like the feel of it. It's, it's, and it's fun. It, right now it's just knit. It's fun to knit with cotton yarn Stock sometimes. Stocking it stock and knit back and forth. Yeah, knit a row, purl mm -hmm. row. Yeah. Um, I had to purl that entire um, sorrel sweater oh that's true and I hate purling. It, but it was purl in the round instead of knitting the round you didn't turn it backwards i didn't hate it no i didn't i the pattern on this one i think because it's so short it didn't have you do that and didn't the other one have you do it that? did but you had to knit a whole body like oh the whole body yeah so since this one was so short it didn't have you and i did fine hmm. so i'm getting i guess i'm getting over that a little bit because yeah i just purled away yeah i don't <laughs> i don't mind it too bad i don't mind purling. i guess that's all my whips that's all? That, that, that? Like whips that you actually did anything with anyway. Well, yeah. I've got a couple other ones, but, you know, they come and go. Okay, so you got, you have a, I know you have one other acquisition to show. I have an acquisition, a couple more. Yeah. We'll do this one first. Okay. I purchased this. Well, no, I, I'm actually getting a year's, I have a year subscription Ooh, thing. Oh, you do. Which is not very many a year. It might what, be two like four years. a year? Maybe. Okay. But because that's like a new one. That's like a book. That's not really a magazine. Oh, it's really nice. Yeah, that's like a book. Yeah, it's not. It's not something you throw away. That's for sure. <gasps> These are just the same. It's as, a gorgeous. Yeah, book. it's not hardback. It's paper, but still. Yeah, I mean, but it's, it's like stiff paper. Stiff. And a lot of people have shown this. Like, I mean, you're not gonna make that. But <laughs> no, I, that I don't know thing. if I make any of them in here. But I love the book, and who knows, we might. You might make some of them. Yeah. Some of them are a little out there, but some of them are like classy. I guess I can't show very much of them. But anyway, it's a very nice, yeah. very nice book. 
So we're trying to, um, well, we're not, we're not trying, but we want, both of us have been kind of wanting to use rowing yarns for a while. Yeah, we'll just be so we're kind of getting it. geared up for that. Mm -hmm. I want to use it for something and it seems like it's really nice. Mm -hmm. I know the, the Fleece and Harmony mm -hmm. gals really like it. There's yeah. a sweater that I have my eyeballs on right now. <laughs> oh yeah, that one with, kind of looks like. It's like Fisherman's Red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very pretty. I have oh, enough going right now. Okay. I'm going to be doing that, but. The mm, other, tempting. my other acquisition, <clears throat> oh. I know, <laughs> the sweater that I made for Mallory is just too little. It's not too little. I made the collar work too tight. Yeah. The sweater fits me perfectly, but the collar work is too tight around me. I have very square shoulders. And I haven't really tried it on. Yeah. I, my, my shoulders are rounded. Mm -hmm. It might not bother me as bad. Mine are like. Like a box. But, uh, you know, I also have someone else in mind that is littler than me that could wear it. Mm -hmm. But, anyway, I'll try it on and see. But, anyway, I'm going to make her another one. It's just, it's too tight, like, in the, the collar work. It's the throw over and the collar work yoke is just right across your shoulders like that. And every time I go like this or anything, it just slowly, and I, ugh, I can't. And also, we're going to try to figure out how to um, put the, do the ribbing bigger make the neck hole bigger. Mm -hmm. Either cast on more and then not have as many to increase when you do when you start the yoke. Yeah. Or not as many. Mm -hmm. Or I'm definitely going to use bigger needles. Mm -hmm. Maybe on the cast on too and then on the collar work also maybe. Just just yeah, instead of using the smaller needles, just use the ones that the body uses. Yeah. That's what I that's what I did on like this. And then go up a needle on the on the on the collar work. On the collar work. So yeah. I guess I'll experiment on that, but and maybe don't make it two inches wide. Maybe just make it like an inch and a half. Yeah, but I think more stitches and just make it come out on your neck bigger. Yeah, something to keep it from choking. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think it'll choke me if the collar work isn't. The collar work's so tight that every time I raise my shoulder or do anything, it pushes up and it pops up over my shoulder right here. That's true, but it is a little bit higher neck in itself. Yeah, my bean so. and olive though is like that, and it doesn't bother me at all. So I don't. We'll figure it out. See how it comes up on her neck? Yeah, that's true. So I'm we'll gonna, figure it out. Maybe some more short rows again. in the back or something. Yeah, if anybody got any suggestions, you can let us know. <laughs> so uh, she picked out a different collar. So she and then my mom has to make the same exact And one. then if I ha end up wearing the other one, we won't be look like the Bobsy twins. <laughs> but she's going to use the same three collars for the collar work because yeah. she has so much of it left. And I liked them. So So it's the same yarn. This Barocco vintage. Yep. And dark denim. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was so it's real nice. And so it'll still have. Oh, yeah. It's even softer than the, the charcoal because the charcoal has like those little it. heathery flakes. Yeah. In it. So I think it'll be nice. I think so too. That'll be pretty. Mm -hmm. Since I had already had mm -hmm. all this. Valley slipper, smoke, snow day. Yep. I'll that's never it. forget now. Yeah, you'll never now. forget it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Acquisitions for me. Is that all for you? I'm done. What do you got? Okay. Well, I showed my two of wands yarn. That was one. I guess I went into whips and acquisitions. The same That's okay. Time. So my other acquisition that I got this time Ooh. is yarn to make my my design. I'm designing a scarf. Right now it's just in my head. I haven't swatched or done anything yet. But it's, I do think I have landed on. Do you have a picture? You, have, you don't have your no. little drawing picture? No, plus nobody would know. Mm, that was just a, like my little own sketch. Okay. <laughs> I don't think anybody would be able to tell what it was. Yeah. But um, it's my thistle scarf that I've been talking about forever. It's going to have a Scottish thistle on it and then have cabling. And so I have it in my head, kind of, what I mm. want. But I got the yarn. So I'm just going to use Cascade 220, not super wash because I don't want it to pill super bad. But So this will be like the thistle color. And then here's the green to go with the thistle. And then there's just a little bit of gold in the thistle. So there's my thistle colors. And then white will be the main body. And I don't remember it's why. It's kind of a cream in them. Yeah, it is, sorry. I think this is called Aaron, actually, this color. Hmm. But I don't remember what all the other colors are called, but yeah, that's my acquisitions. Very pretty. So that's it for me. Yeah. I nothing else for you? Nothing else for me, I think. We're okay. Much done. So our mini me make along, again, is running until the end of March. And then you'll probably have longer. But yeah, get it in and win win a prize it's all on instagram i didn't we didn't set up robbery or anything so uh, again i'll put the hashtag to use here i'll do it again right here at the bottom <laughs> and so you for sure no yeah okay well that's it for me i have nothing else to say okay. <laughs> all right well i got a new phone so hopefully this all works really well
Yeah, I hope see. so. She had trouble with her old one, so. Yeah, so. Great. Hopefully the quality of this is nice. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, it's supposed to be a really good camera, so. So have fun knitting, you guys All out right, there. yeah. And see you in a few weeks. Yeah. Bye. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm.